Welcome back. It's been a little while, and I apologize for taking that break, but you know what? We got a whole bunch of new projects to show you and work on together, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, the first one, first of all, let me mention, because I see it right there on the camera, I whacked myself in the eye yesterday. I was out in the forest, fell through some branches, was holding something, slammed it into my eye. It was pretty gnarly. I thought I might be blind in one eye. I was uh, that scared, but didn't happen. All right, this project is Little Free Library Part 1. I am building a Little Free Library for the community around here, for the kids, for the people that we are going to have a library. Okay, and I have a bunch of scrap wood that I've just been piling up. So you see right here, this is going to be maybe part of a fence. We've got some pallets back there, and then over here... Uh, much more plywood and there's even some plywood in the back over here more plywood all right so uh, that's plywood that was left over from I guess it was left over from this project um, and some of it came out of this project which I'll show you in a different video but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut pieces um, out of some of these flat pieces of plywood just find some ones that look like they can make good walls and roof i found the plans on the little free library website for plans so simple anybody could do it or something like that i'll put the link below so if anyone wants to i'm going to modify it a little bit look what i've got here i've got my pieces to cut i'm gonna make it slightly larger or taller so you can get a couple tall books in there because i think that's annoying when you want to donate a book to the library but you can't fit the book in. That's pretty annoying. So we're going to make it a little taller. And we're going to put a bench and a little fence around it. And we're hopefully going to paint it. It's going to be pretty cute in the end. And I'm hoping to get some of the neighbors involved in the project. Anyways, um, let's see what we come up with out of this stack. I'm going to start pulling, cutting, see if I can get those pieces assembled as step number one. I've pretty much done all of them. There's a few more. I'm gonna cut some shelves and uh, little braces and things like that, but most everything's done. I just need to paint it now would be the next step. I had to make some adjustments. Those plans that I got on the PDF it just was not looking very waterproof to me. There's books inside. We're in Washington. It rains a lot, 30-something um, inches of rain a year, and it comes down hard. It's very damp and wet. Everything is moldy around here or mildewy, you know, that's just how it is. So I wanted some water tight as best I could. So uh, one of the little adjustments I made is I actually, um, where the door is gonna be, I put this uh, sort of door um, stop, what do you call that, a door jam, um, to get it more of a watertight seal here, uh, or the water at least would dry, drip down the side instead of splashing in all those nooks and crannies. Um, and then another thing I did is I cut the roof just to be a bit longer than uh, what they suggested. So there'd be some more overhang, especially over the front part where the door will be in the books and stuff. Uh, and then I think, you know, when I put it together, I'm going to caulk all the seams and paint it. And uh, those would be the next steps. So I guess I'll make, you know, an update once it's all put together and painted. But that'll do it for part one. And... Um, We'll see what it looks like. I'm pretty excited about this thing. See you next time.